What is up, you awesome people? Today is the 15th of June, and you know what significance that date has? Nothing. But it's exactly 15 days until the release of Mod 19 on PC. So write that in your calendars, in your planners, scribble a sticky note and stick it to the side of your monitor, whatever you want to do to remember that Mod 19 comes out in two weeks and one day. So as for today's video, as you can see, there is nothing on this event platform at the moment, but that is because I am the event today. That was awful. Um, right, so actually the event is the fact that there's a new expedition pack on the Zen store, and we have to do a review of it like we do of every expedition pack that has ever existed, except the first one. There's a bunch of new stuff in here, and we have to talk about whether or not it's worth buying or not. The base cost is the same as most of the other expedition packs at 10,000 zen, but if you buy it before Mod 19 releases, you can get it for 7,500, so 25% off. So you've got your usual stuff that comes in most of the expedition packs. You have your title, a companion, coalescent wards, refining gemstones, and an insignia choice pack. There's usually something similar to that in most of the expedition packs. But that's the stuff that you get right now. So if you were to buy that, like, in five minutes, you would be able to claim this stuff in five minutes. So, I mean, it's not very impressive, but you do get a Hollyfint companion. And I really wish that I had been recording my reactions whenever I first saw Lulu on the preview server. This was uh, about a week before it went public, so I wouldn't have been able to show, show you it until you know, the week later, but I didn't record it. But basically, I was doing the introductory quest for the Mod 19 content, and I went in that little room, the very first quest, and I went into the little room, and I was like, is that an elephant with wings? And then I got a little closer, and I'm like, yeah, that's an elephant with wings. That's pretty weird. Except it was a lot more dramatic and cooler than that, but, you know, here we are, a month later. Anyways, you get Lulu, Okay right now and her ability is i'm assuming it's a she so her ability is not very impressive to me i mean you just incre get increased damage resistance by uh, four percent and heal every 30 seconds whenever you use a daily power which doesn't seem very noteworthy to me but this is like a healing type companion so the companion can heal you however it's not an augment so if you if you're using an augment then you probably won't want to switch to something like this. However, there is one thing that I just noticed, even though I read this already, that I just noticed that seems like it could be useful, okay? So there's a power that this companion has that increased the summoner's health by 5%, and that summoner would be you, or you over there. But anyways, 5% more health is a lot. For every 100k hit points you have, it adds an additional 5,000. So if you've got 600k hit points, it's going to give you 30 more thousand. I really hope I did that math right. If not, I apologize, but you get the idea, okay? It's a decent amount of HP. But the downside to that is that you have to have it summoned, which means if it's an augment, or if you use an augment, you're going to be missing out on a lot of extra stats by using something like this. Okay, moving on, now that I talked about the companion for like 75 years, that's really all there is to talk about for the stuff that you're going to get right now anyways. But whenever Mod 19 releases in two weeks and one day, in 15 days, you get the Holy Fence bag of goodies that you can claim on the release day. And in there is 20 enchanted keys, the new companion, the new mounts, and a new item pack, and some campaign currency. Now, it doesn't actually specify what this stuff is in the Zen market, which is kind of disappointing because if you're looking to buy something, you probably are going to look at the label or the tag or something first, or at least have a look at the item that you want to buy before you buy it. But in this case, you're not able to unless you know how to read. If you know how to read, which I know most of you don't, and that's why you're here listening to this video anyways, there was a news article posted a couple weeks ago. 13 days ago, two weeks minus one day ago. That includes everything that it comes in this pack. So, the new companion that you'll get is the Skyblazer, which I can actually show you because it is on the preview. However, it's called the General of the Redeemed Citadel right now. And the Redeemed Citadel is something that is not supposed to be 
accessible or viewable or have any of its stuff viewable at the moment. I, I was informed of that after I, you know, asked what it was. And I was just told, well, um, you're not supposed to be able to look at that yet. And I was just like, oh, and here we are. But anyways, the Sky Blazer, you click on it, it says General of the Redeemed Citadel. Yeah, okay. So this is just that companion that gives you the increased campaign currency drop. So if you're trying to unlock the new trial faster or, you know, just progress the campaign faster, you could equip this temporarily whenever you're doing your dailies and quests and stuff like that. This is not an augment either, but it has a power that makes it do 25% extra damage against fiends. But uh, as far as I'm aware, companions still don't really do very much damage to begin with, so that's pretty not important. As for the new mounts, unfortunately, I've not been able to find the new mount that's in collections for me to actually show you, but it looks pretty cool in the picture that is in the news article, the Shadow Drake. That has Critical Strike as its stat bonus and then barbed illuminated and universal insignias but it basically looks like the the rage drake except it's got like a purple underbelly and like a really smoky blackness coming off of it and it's like blackish brown and bright glowy eyes and i like it but i will never get it because i'm not gonna buy the expedition pack <laughs> anyways as far as the campaign currency goes, in previous packs it has been enough campaign currency to get you through a bonus one week of the campaign. I don't know if that has changed, that's not something that is talked about in the news article, it just says, hey, you're gonna get some campaign currency. But I would assume that it's going to be one week's worth. Now the only other thing in there is the item pack. And in that is not actually an item that you can equip yourself, but it is the items that you can use to upgrade one piece of infernal gear into either demon or devil forged gear, which basically just give it a little bit of extra stats and item level and stuff. So if you weren't using any of the infernal gear, then that's not going to be very useful for you. But if you were using some, then you might actually, you know, find it worth picking up. As far as news articles actually go, I really like the way that one is written. It's really, like, fun and bouncy, which is because it's supposed to be written by Lulu the Hollyfant, I'm guessing, but I really do like that. And yes, I used bouncy as an adjective to describe the writing of a news article. <laughs> Don't question me. Anyway, this concludes the event of Silver, and I may now step off the event platform and rejoin my life, I guess. But, uh, thank you all for what- excuse you. Thank you all for watching or listening or whatever. I hope you found this video informative, except I never forget a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I never said if it was worth buying or not. Oh, God. So basically, my personal opinion, as I've already stated, is I'm not going to buy it. If you're looking to go into the trial, if you're that kind of player, remember the trial is for very, very endgame people and is very, very difficult, much harder than Tom, then it you might be wanting to buy this to get this stuff fastest if you're one of those people who has to have everything new as soon as possible. But otherwise, I don't really think there's anything in here that stands out to me enough that I would want to have this right away or even in two weeks or two months. I don't find anything in here, you know, that I would want. The companion, although Lulu is cute, I would never use her and I would never use the companion that comes in the Hollyfence bag of goodies either. The coal wards are, eh, there's only three of them, though, in past packs. I believe there have been five. And the legendary insignia packs, I personally am not in need of that, and there's only one pack in this, uh, pack anyways. So, yeah, I'm not into the lockboxes much anymore. I only do the 75 VIP keys once, and that is it. So, um, this pack is not for me. Is it worth the price? I mean, it's about as worth the price as any of the other ones have been except for mod 16. So if you add up everything in here, you will get the value of the price that you're going to pay. It just depends on if the items in there are actually something that you would use. And that's my advice to you. Probably not unless you're actually going to use this stuff and if you're trying to, you know, get the new stuff as quickly as possible. If you're one of those people, sure. If you're not, then you might want to pass on this one. Okay, now that I've actually done the content of the video, I can leave. And you can leave too. So make sure that you are in a better mood tonight than when you started this morning, if you can. And if you can't, 
then make somebody else in a better mood than they were when they started the day. That is how you should live your life, okay? Are you listening? Okay, now go tell your pet cow a joke or something to make their day better, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Okay, bye.